Now we'll talk about multiplying a monomial and a polynomial. And to do this, you have to remember the distributive property, which just says a times b plus c, and b plus c is in parentheses there, equals a times b plus a times c. And the thing to understand here is that you can think of a as the monomial, and then b plus c is a little polynomial. So we're multiplying right here a monomial by a polynomial. And the procedure for doing that is to distribute. A gets multiplied by B, and then there's the plus, and then A multiplied by C. But in, instead of just having letters or numbers right here, we can have mathematical expressions. And we'll look at some examples. This first one is 6A times 2A squared plus 3A. So I'm going to multiply the 6a times the 2a squared. So this will equal 6a times 2a squared. And then I have my plus sign, plus, And then I have 6a times the 3a. And let's work those out. 6a times 2a squared, we can see that the 6 times the 2 will give us a 12. So this will equal 12 and then the a times the a squared gives us an a cubed. So we have 12 a cubed plus, and then over here on the second term we have 6 times 3, which gives us 18, and the a times a right there gives us an a squared. So 12 a cubed plus 18 a squared. Now we can't combine these two terms. Those are not like terms. The a cubed and the a squared are different. We can only combine like terms if they are like terms, which means they have to have exactly the same variable part. And the a cubed and a squared are different. All right, let's look at the next one. 2x times 4a plus 3b. Okay, this will equal 2x times 4a plus 2x times 3b. And 2x times 4a, you should be able to see is 8 times a times x. And then we have our plus sign. And then the 2x times 3b is 6 times b times x. And again, I just wrote these in alphabetical order, which is fairly standard practice. All right, and we have a couple of more examples here. In this one, we have negative 5x times 3x squared plus 2x plus 4. Now, this term out here, or this, uh, this monomial, monomial out front, the negative 5x, will have to be multiplied by each of these three terms. So we have negative 5x times 3x squared plus negative 5x times 2x. plus negative 5x times 4. And we can work each of those out. This negative 5 times 3 gives me a negative 15, and the x times the x squared is x cubed. So the first term here comes out to negative 15 x cubed. And then I have a negative 5 times 2, which gives me a negative 10, so I'm going to say negative 10 and then the x times the x gives, gives me an x squared. And then over here, the negative 5 times the 4 gives me a, a I have a plus sign here. I can write plus there, but it's going to be a plus negative 20 because of the negative 5 times the 4. So I'll write minus 20x. And I could have avoided this plus sign right here, too. The way to write this answer is negative 15x cubed minus 10x squared minus 20x. And all three of these terms are different variable parts. So I can't combine any of those as like terms. And in this last one we have 2a squared b squared times 3a squared b plus 4ab squared. So the 2a squared b squared needs to be multiplied by each of those terms. And it will look like this. 
2a squared b squared times the 3a squared b plus the 2a squared b squared times the 4ab squared. So I'll write 2a squared b squared times 4ab squared. And then let's work each of these out. This first term gives me a 6, and then the a squared times an a squared gives me an a to the fourth, and the b squared times the b gives me a b cubed. And then I have my plus sign. And then in the second term, the 2 times the 4 gives me an 8. The a squared times the a gives me an a cubed, and the b squared times the b squared gives me a b to the fourth. So that's how to multiply a monomial by a polynomial. You simply distribute the monomial across all the terms, and when you multiply everything, keep your rules of exponents in mind.